friends, happy 2019! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Soso, aka Sophia. Sorry about the Christmas decorations still in my background, but really I'm not sorry because I told you guys I was disorganized. I'm a little slow with things, so in the next video I'll have a different background. But I just wanted to get up a video, you know? So today I am going to do my how I do my eyebrow tutorial. This may be a very basic tutorial for some people. I think it is a basic way of doing my eyebrows because I already have very thick and full eyebrows. But I've definitely seen a couple requests here and there, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I use a pencil, a brow pencil, and the one I've been using lately is the one from Anastasia. Uh, the Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. Before that, I was using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which is very similar in this shade Espresso. So if you want to save around $10, this one will work perfectly fine. You know, I just decided to splurge a little one day, and the thing I like a little bit better about this one is it gives you a slightly more natural look. But, um, like I said, from day to day, whatever, like, if I only had this one, I would totally feel fine using it. I was going to wait till my eyebrows were like freshly done so I don't have any like little stray hairs, but you know what? I figure doing it this way will make it a bit more challenging because when my brows are done, it's like so easy. I barely have to do anything. So I wanted to see how good I can make them look. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> As you saw, I brushed my brow hairs up like this just to have a clear space where you could see your arch and stuff one of the main keys to doing your brows is to use a very light hand just so your eyebrows won't look super dark and crazy which i've made that mistake many times but the more i started using a lighter hand the more i realized it works better so I like starting in the inner corner of my brow. Is this called the inner corner? And I start drawing the line, or I start lightly creating a line. See how I'm doing multiple strokes? I'm not just like literally like drawing it on. And I start following the shape of my natural brow Minus any hairs that need to be plucked, I'm just going to ignore those. And then, once I have my foundation of a line, I start doing feather-like strokes uh, going upwards. But be careful with like this part of your brow because if that gets too dark, it just looks a little too strong. You might look a little angry, etc., etc. And then, because <clears throat> although I do have naturally full brows, I still have like spaces that need to fill in, like this part around my, uh, what do you call this? I don't know. This part too. I can't talk! Oh my god, is this even gonna be informative? So I'm not gonna lie, I bounce around from like place to place. So next I'm gonna start moving up here and just filling it in like that. So if you don't have much of a shape, this is like the important part if you want to like make your brow more like arched. So make sure you're kind of creating an arch I would say start it where your pupil ends, not your pupil, the outer part of your eye, follow it upwards and it seems like that's kind of where my arch starts anyways for me. So if you do have thinner brows, I mean honestly this probably, this video probably won't be useful for you, but if you have thicker ones like me, yeah. You just gotta fill in the gaps and follow the natural pattern of your brows. I can tell a difference from my left brow and my right brow. I don't 
mess around with the tail too much. Kind of just make it a little darker. But I need to get my brows done anyway, so. This is just like for a day to day, like quickly fill in your brows um, type of video. I'm not one to like perfect my brows and put the concealer on here and yada, yada, yada. That just takes a long time, maybe for like going out in special occasions. But from day to day, like I'm okay with how my brow looks like that. Um, let's start on the other side. So I'm using my same hand. Um, it might be a little awkward for you at first. I don't know. I'm kind of used to it, but the inner corner sometimes is a bit challenging. It just feels the most awkward. I guess he's... <coughs> Excuse me. So light pressure is the key. If you're using light pressure and you're somewhat following like how your natural brow is, you can't really go wrong. So just try it out. Experiment. At first I thought, ah, and you could always just wipe away with your finger. This comes off pretty easily. It's not like liquid eyeliner or anything. It's just hard to talk and do this at the same time. But I was going to say I used to be content with just getting my eyebrows threaded. And I was like, yeah, my brows look fine. Like they're already thick. But once you start filling it in, you really do see a difference. It just defines your face even more and like I didn't even realize that I had like little spaces and gaps in my eyebrows till I started like filling them in and once you do it's just like hard to turn back like my brows is something a part of my makeup that I always want to have done if not anything else so I want to go in very it does get a little awkward, I'm not going to lie, but very lightly, yeah! especially in this inner part of my brow. So they're not looking too bad, even though... They're a little bit ungroomed, if that's even a word. So yeah, your eyebrows, they're never going to be, I've said this in another video, they're sisters, not twins. So like, don't stress yourself out over like one brow being like a tiny bit thicker than the other, like it's just bound to happen. So like I said, I always get gaps in this little area, so I am lightly filling it in. I used to wax my brows, another side note, for like many years, cause that's just what I was like introduced to first. But I now get my brows threaded. That is my way of grooming them. And um, it's not like scary. I mean, I feel like it hurts the same amount as getting your eyebrows waxed. Some people do like, <laughs> They say like it hurts a lot more, but you know, once your skin gets used to waxing or threading, like it'll just build up a layer of strength and you'll be fine. Like sometimes my eyes tear up, but it's just cause you know, of the sensitivity, but I'm not like dying of pain. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I'm not gonna mess around with the tail too much cause I don't know. I just want, as long as like the main part looks good, a little bit of color at the end. I just have so much going on in my tail. Like there's, it just gets really long. So it's hard for me at this point in time I mean, in the current state of my brows to really make this part very defined because there's just a lot going on. 
but from afar like it really doesn't matter as you can see <laughs> yeah I'm about to wrap it up guys if I wasn't like talking through it this it probably would have taken me half the time maybe five six minutes maybe seven uh, definitely not even 10 though all right I'm gonna brush them upwards again just to see if I need to fill in anything else after you know you're done you could do concealer under your brows I mean should I do that just for like the video today I don't know I never do that so no I'm not gonna do it um I was just gonna take my tweezers and get any little stray hairs there's actually not many because I usually do this periodically in between threading appointments I mean anyways I hope that was helpful um, I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup so you can just see how everything comes together and the difference that it makes. Wait, I'm not content. There we go. I honestly really should be setting my brows with some sort of brow gel. Um, it's just helpful because I personally have long brow hairs and throughout the day they just like, you know, they tend to move around. Um, so to really set them in place, I suggest using a brow gel. I know I had one from NYX in the past. I know Anastasia will definitely have one as well. Uh, Benefit also has great brow products. I actually do have this one as well, the Benefit Goof Proof uh, Pencil, Brow Pencil. This one, sometimes, it, I do feel like it is a bit too creamy and pigmented and it'll make my eyebrows a little bit too bold. But you know what, if I'm out of my other ones, I would use this one. Um, so yeah, try a tinted brow gel or a clear brow gel to set your brows in place. Um, I'm pretty sure it would be helpful. I just don't have one right now so let me put on the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back so this is what my brows look like with the rest of my makeup um, everything looks more cohesive and put together this look that I did is also very easy and basic I don't even use foundation um, and I like it it's very like work friendly and work appropriate whatever and you can get it done in a timely manner if you want to see how to get this look, I would love to film it for you guys. Just let me know. I know I also need to put up my skincare tutorial, which is also very basic, but I know Melissa requested it, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I got the name right. So anyways, guys, that wraps up my brow tutorial for thick brows, and I hope you enjoyed it. So please leave me any requests and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!